morning everyone it's laura t at dream deals one two three on ebay and i'm the silver owl thrifter on youtube i made 102 dollars gross sales let's break it down and see what is profit what i sold i made three sales let's break it down this was listed last month. It's a Land's End size 10 tankini. Paisley. Land's End women's tankini top size 10. Blue paisley underwire adjustable strap tie front. Very cute. Just walk along the bathing suits and look for cute styles like this. And if they're Land's End, you might have a, you can get it at a good price. I would say pick it up. I'm selling quite a few. Land's End, I used to buy them all the time when I shopped at the mall, and I remember always being appalled at how expensive they were. <laughs> so I assume many others are too. Uh, and they're in, these are in great shape. So this, uh, she got this for $15 and $7 shipping for a total of 22. I paid three, so I made $12 on that. And then a pair of some J. Crew ch women's chino shorts, periwinkle is the color, and they're size 12. They paid $10 and $5 shipping. I've had these for a while. For $15, I paid two and made six. My best sale was one that I just listed a few days ago. It is a Naturals by Kuji. Kuji generally has really colorful sweaters. That's what they're known for. But um, this one sold fast too. Naturals by Kugi. Red knit neutral sweater size XL Australia Lyocell. They bought it with a 20% off coupon. They paid $58 and $7 shipping for a total of $65. Again, uh, that's with 20% off. I made $58 on that. So I made 102 gross and 76 net, which is really nice margins. Uh, <clears throat> gross this year, I've made 15,983. Ooh, I may be dancing tomorrow. 8,202 net this year. Sales have been pretty good this week. They've, or this month, they've like, been triple what they were the month before so that's great i hope it keeps up um what else yeah just thinking a lot about you know uh when you get into ebay you got to do what works for you um one thing that i remember happened to me when i well i did ebay for many years when ebay was fairly new and then i stopped for many years and then i got back into it and this was when everything you know, it was about five, six years ago, maybe, maybe seven years ago now. Um, things were just starting to really get hopping on YouTube, uh, people telling how to do things. And I remember thinking I wanted, I was interested in Amazon uh, Marketplace. And, but then I was looking at everything people were making on eBay. And the first thing I did was try to copy what everybody else did. And that was kind of a disaster because it's impossible to know everything about everything and you just make a lot of mistakes i think a lot of people make mistakes in the beginning because i still have my mistake by so try to avoid making purchasing mistakes by figuring out and narrowing down what you know about what you're interested in about and then pick a couple of things and kind of focus on those not saying never you know, if you have a really expensive dvd player vintage that you know is worth 300 dollars and you know it's in perfect working condition go for it you know but for me like going out and trying to find a working dvd player is not my thing i just i don't know and they're big and they're clunky and they're everything so anyway so i like clothing and hard goods i mean like as you're seeing i'll do a lot of a little bit of everything myself but i don't like go and look at electronics anymore and stuff like that and i don't do pots and pans unless so I like a really obvious pick, like a Lake Creuset or something. So anyways, don't, you know, just uh, listen to everybody, but then pick a couple of people that um, kind of have a common sense approach to eBay. Like if somebody is telling, you know, like I love, well, 
I don't know. I, I mean, there's a lot of videos out there about like the the best purse brands, the most expensive, highest selling purse brands to sell on eBay. Yeah, it's great. We'd all love to do that. But how often are we realistically going to find that purse somewhere for, um, you know, and know how, know, and get it all authenticated and everything like that. So, um, I like to think about all the things that are very, that are pretty easy, the bread and butter stuff basically that we talk about all the time. And then every so often you come across some really good stuff along the way and you pop that in there and that brings up your sale, your average sales price quite, quite a bit. So, okay, let's see. Do a little haul video. Getting to the end of the haul videos, this Kennedy of Ardera 100% pure will hand net made in the Republic of Ireland. Okay, this is a wool cardigan. It's got nice buttons. The only problem with it, it has, it had a little bit of a stain here and I Tried to get it out and I kind of botched it and ruined the look of it probably too, but. And then I noticed after I spent time cleaning on that, I've got another little stain here. So I'm gonna try to work on that and hopefully this I think I can get off with a st stiff brush. But anyways, when they're from Ireland and they're pure wool and they're hand knit, uh, there's, those are popular and uh, Grandpa, Grandpa Core is in, which is kind of this old money, old school look and cardigan sweaters. So hopefully I can get maybe 30 for that, even with a little bit of a flaw. <clears throat> this is a L.L. Bean medium this jacket. And uh, I think it's a woman's tall, medium tall, so maybe 30 for that. I paid a couple dollars for that. This is a boys large North Face. I think I paid a dollar for that. Maybe get 10 or 15 for that. I don't do a lot of kids stuff, but these are good brands and the price was so good. This is another kids uh, youth large 14, 16, just a LL Bean, 10 or 15 for that. And a couple more things, don't have a lot. This is Women's Fine Apparel Alps. Again, just a nice, we call that, that would be called, I call that Fair Isle, which is a good brand and um, feels like wool. Let me check. I got it for a couple of dollars. Hand wash, made in USA, 100% wool. So, oh, that's nice. It's got a little bit of a purple tint there. I didn't notice that. And blue, it's very pretty, medium. So maybe get 30 or 40 for that. And this is a chamois. Got some wear, traditional fit, L.L. Bean chamois cloth shirt. It says it right there, right there. It says it. I'm not making it up. <laughs> so, not made in USA, but um, oh, that's this kind of look. Very soft, very popular. Uh, speaking of popular, okay, that's it on the. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, bully, bully, bully. Couple more things. Couple more things. Couple more things. A Banana Republic t-shirt size small I think it was a dollar at that sale I don't know I think I picked it up in the beginning when I wasn't finding things right away I was like oh boy I might as well take something here this is J Crew chinos nice rust color 34 32 nice size uh, maybe get 20 for those um, trends trends gorp core hiking crunchy crunchy granola Birkenstocks. Um, yeah, so I got some REI the other day, a long like hiking skirt. I think I showed it, nylon hiking skirt. That I'm gonna call that Gorp Core. 
crunchy core, crunchy granola core. <laughs> so, yeah, I was a real crunchy granola girl in the 70s. I went uh, to Yosemite. I was a pancake flipper there. I was like 18 years old. I left home when I was 17 with $300 in my pocket. I went to California. I got into all kinds of trouble. <laughs> Made it up. <laughs> and, uh, um, but yeah, oh man, Yosemite. I want to go back there again with my family and when my head's in a little bit better place. <laughs> um, okay, I gotta stop thinking about that. Uh, memories light the corners of my mind. Um, all right, well, thank you everyone. Like and subscribe. Hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.